Hi, this is Laura Tucker with Really Entertainment News. Donald Trump once fired someone on The Apprentice for locker room talk. Really? I don't remember the episode, but The Daily Show tweeted a video of wrestler Maria Kanellis confronting Chef Curtis Stone about using the girls' dressing room to take a stinky crap. Trump sided with Curtis and said it was random and a little below the belt, sort of gross and disgusting. He then says, this is my boardroom. It's not a locker room, Maria. You're fired. What does he think goes on in locker rooms? Men bragging about sexually abusing women and people accusing each other of taking stinky shits? And by the by, athletes are insulted by what he calls locker room talk. Really? NBA stars Jamal Crawford and C.J. McCollum, baseball player Sean Doolittle, and football player Chris Conley all say they've never heard that in any locker room. Basketball player Kendall Marshall added a PSA that sexual advances without consent is not locker room talk. Blake Griffin says all the heavy breathing of Trump's, it seemed more locker room-esque than anything else. Cleveland Cavaliers Dante Jones noted that calling it locker room banter suggests that it's somehow acceptable, but it's not. Soccer player Robbie Rogers is offended as an athlete. Football player Jacob Temme says he refuses to let his son think that's just how men talk. Mixed martial artist CM Punk also said it's not locker rooms, that it, he, it's not from locker rooms he's been in and suggests it's a Ted Bundy quote. Have to say, I did male-dominated martial arts for 12 years. I never heard anything like that, but we did teach women and girls how to defend themselves against such things. In Carrie Fisher's opinion, Trump is doing coke. Really? Amy R. tweeted, at Carrie Fisher, tell me something about that sniffle. Cokehead or no? Carrie replied, I'm an expert and absolutely. I don't know. I've never done coke. And the last time I was around people who were doing coke, I was 19 years old, so a long time ago. But if Carrie Fisher, a known former user, says it, I believe it. Shia LaBeouf is rumored to have gotten hitched in Las Vegas. Really? TMZ says he and Mia Goth were married by an Elvis impersonator at the Viva Las Vegas wedding chapel, and the wedding was streamed. But they have not, but the couple have not confirmed it. But I have to say, it's more normal than you may think. My good friends were married at that very same chapel in Vegas and also by an Elvis impersonator. I was the matron of honor. And that too was streamed, and it was a long time ago April 1st, April Fool's Day, 2001. So that says a lot. I am sure the streaming quality is much better from the chapel in 2016 than it was in 2001.